You are watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's program is an extreme makeover edition. Uh, with us, we have New York Times best-selling author, Dr. Jeff Life. Dr. Life, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Good now, to be here. Now, for people that don't know you, I mean, you are the face of Cinegenics, also a, a, a double New York Times best-selling author, and uh, you just, I guess your newest book, which is pretty hot, which is uh, Mastering the Life Plan. That's right. All right. And uh, so how old are you, by the way? Because, uh, I mean, you're fit. I'm 74, almost 75. And thank you for not wearing your jacket, because you came in here wearing a jacket. I asked your permission to take it off. But you walk your talk. You look good. It's a work in progress, Randy. Okay, so you brought two of your patients here. So, so, so tell me a little bit about what, because you said, I want to bring two of my patients. So what are we going to talk about today? So I, br I brought uh, Troy and Dave. These right. are two guys that uh, live in the Las Vegas area that I picked to be on the Dr. Phil show. Okay. So last year, they, we were filmed when they started the program and, uh, on the do and appeared on the Dr. Phil show. We just recently filmed again their after pictures, their af what, what Rod Stanley and I were able to accomplish over a nine month period transforming these guys from really being very unhealthy uh, on a crash and burn course for heart attacks and strokes. And these two guys were very, very sick. Very sick. I mean, one guy had a heart attack when you met him. The young guy right before. Had just had a heart attack. Troy had just had a and heart attack. And the other attack. one was sick and, and depressed and, Dave, and lethargic. Yes. Uh, and um, they were being followed, Randy, by the standard of care in America. Okay. So everything that they were, that was being done with them medically was considered appropriate medical care, when in fact it wasn't. These guys were destined to, to fail. Um, and so we, I, we stepped in, incorporated the right kind of exercise, the right kind of nutrition, uh, changed their meds, uh, improved their testosterone levels, and uh, started uh, uh, them on the program. Okay, good. Now the first uh, patient you have of yours is Dave. Dave. We're Morgan. gonna bring him on the program. Yes. What, what can you tell us about Dave? Dave uh, was 53 years old. Mm -hmm. He's a banker and was in the finance world when it crashed. So he just went into this state of depression okay. and uh, ate badly, did not exercise, uh, ended up becoming a type two diabetic and had extreme, uh, extremely high cholesterol levels, triglyceride levels. He was a disaster. Okay. And he was, as I said, being followed by cardiologists who were providing the standard of, of care. All right, and the Dr. Phil show told you, find me two real sick people. That's right. Is that right? That's right. And, uh, and, and, and so Dave qualified. Dave qualified. As a sick guy. Okay, let's go to Dave. Dave, welcome to the program. Sure, glad to be here. Now, tell me a little bit about this transformation. You know, we, we titled the show an extreme makeover. It, it, I mean, do you consider it an extreme makeover? What was it like then and what, was it, what is it like now? I was 50 pounds uh, fatter than I am today. Uh, was totally depressed. Didn't want to go out and interact with people. Just uh, worn out all the time, just trying to get through the day. So 50, 60 pounds, is that typical? That uh, when typical you meet people of, that... Uh, of of most of my male patients, yes. They come in to me uh, struggling to keep their weight off, but they're failing. And uh, they've lost muscle mass and strength and gained body fat, especially belly fat, Randy, which is the worst kind of fat. It just puts people at huge risk for all the bad diseases. Where do you think Dave would have been headed, in your opinion? Well, without a doubt, Dave was headed down a crash and burn course. Over the, uh, over the next five to 10 years, he would have uh, become... Uh, I mean, what's your really opinion? I mean, heart attack? Uh, Di type 2 diabetes? He already had type 2 diabetes. Okay. So he would have had a heart attack or stroke by the time he was uh, 60, 65, without a doubt. Dave, were you diagnosed prior to meeting Dr. Life with type 2 diabetes? Yeah, I was on medications, uh, on, on diabetic medication, on triglycerides to try to get my triglycerides down. I was also on sleeping medication on depression medication. Uh, my life was just uh, totally out of control. Uh, just didn't want to do anything physically or even mentally I was having a tough time. You know, I gotta tell you Randy, Dave is typical of many, many Americans, most of my patients. 
uh, he is uh, be, has been given medicines for all of his ailments. He was depressed, so he's on an antidepressant. He couldn't sleep, so he was on a sleeping pill. His triglycerides were off the chart, so he was on a triglyceride lowering medicine. His uh, he was on type two di diabetes medicine, diabetic medicine. Okay, um, and and no one had ever talked to him about the importance of exercise, nutrition, and correcting his profoundly low testosterone levels. So he's no longer diabetic. He's no longer diabetic. And nobody talked to him? It's hard to believe. I mean, uh, no, 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 his traditional, tradition. Dave, is that right? I mean, they didn't talk to you and say, okay, you gotta eat differently, you gotta exercise more, none of that. Uh, not really, I mean, I, they said, Dave, you know, just uh, watch what you're eating and, and um, exercise, but they didn't really give me a plan. I, um, anything that they told me to do was made sense, but they just didn't come through with any uh, type of plan at all. And Randy, this is what, this is what traditional medicine tells all, all their patients. Okay. Eat right, start exercising more. And I also got to tell you, they but never... But that's good advice. Well, it's good advice, but no one knows what to do. Okay. So they need a plan, they need really specific instructions on how to exercise right, what kind of exercise to do, how to eat right, what kind of foods to eat, how often to eat. No one tells anybody that in traditional medicine that information is not provided. Another big area that is totally ignored is hormone levels. And Dave's testosterone level was really low and this puts him at risk for exactly what was happening to him. At risk of what? A vascular disease, heart attack, stroke, prostate cancer. Is that right? Absolutely. So by correcting his testosterone deficiency, it began to change everything. It changed his depression. It made him more energized. It made him get results when he went to the gym. It made him get enthusiastic about his exercise program. It made him want to eat better. And, and this, this, it all tied together to uh, result in a huge successful story. So Dave, you're not taking antidepressants at all right now? Oh, now uh, I'm up going to the gym and uh, going out and working hard, working harder than I've ever worked in my life right now. Uh, just enjoying life. I'm enjoying my family. In fact, uh, my son plays football uh, in junior high and I go out and watch his games. He's in spring football training right now and just enjoying watching him and actually going out and playing with him every once in a while on, on uh, when they're warming up for their football games. So Dave, I, I guess prior to this, uh, and we've, we've uh, talked a little bit in the green room, you didn't go to the gym, now you go to the gym. Oh yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't want to go to the gym before. Uh, I was just too tired. My wife tried to get me to go every day. I just didn't want to go to the gym. Now, um, I go to the gym every day and enjoy my workouts. I enjoy uh, lifting weights and I enjoy doing cardio. Yeah, I feel better about myself overall. I guess I didn't really realize it until I, this past little while I've run into business associates or uh, friends and, and distant family and they come up and look at me or, or see me again and they go, Dave, man, you look fantastic. What have you done? And I explain, you know, what, what's taken part of the process, the process that I've gone through. But uh, yeah, I feel great, feel fantastic. When you met him, like you're on the, uh, you know, your consult or the exam, do you, when you're interviewing him, do you, in your mind do you say, this guy, I can really help? Oh, absolutely. I knew right off I could help him. Oh, you do? But I really didn't know how much I could help him. Is it because there's a level of commitment? It's always, that's the biggest, that's, okay. the, that's the deal breaker for most people. But I, I really didn't think I could completely reverse his diabetes. I didn't really think I could, could completely get his triglycerides back to normal, to actually below normal, in that, into a really healthy range. We've been able to do that. I mean, it's, it's been truly amazing, Randy. So Dave, I mean, your life has, tra I mean, look, physically, you look different. I mean, you're a handsome guy, right? Nice smile, looking good. Uh, how has it changed your self-esteem? Because we're talking about improving your health, but I mean, your physical appearance. Yeah, I feel better about myself overall. I guess I didn't really realize it until I, this past little while, I've run into business associates or uh, friends and, and distant family and they come up and look at me or, or see me again and they go, Dave, man, you look fantastic, what have you done? 
and I explain, you know, what, what's taken part of the process, the process that I've gone through. But uh, yeah, I feel great, feel fantastic. So when you, he's 54 years old, Dave is. He's on a path, right? Prior to meeting you, a path of medications, antidepressants, more weight gain, type two diabetes. He's typical. I mean, there's a lot he, of these guys he, out there. He is typical of the average 50 plus year old American male. You know, these guys are devoted mostly to their careers and their families and they, uh, and they don't go to doctors and they just get off the path of good health and they end up being obese with all these issues like type, headed toward type two diabetes, heart disease. You know, heart disease is the number one killer of Americans, men and women. Can you prove his heart's better? Yes, we have proved his heart is better. His exercise performance on, the, on an exercise bicycle is vastly improved. His, his uh, strength has improved. His blood vessels have improved. We, I do studies on his blood vessels. That's improved. I, I look at all his biomarkers for vascular disease, and they've all improved. He has gone from a very sick guy that was headed on a crash and burn course over the next five to 10 years, he, he would have su suffered some kind of a cardiovascular event, which may or may not have killed him. And now that's all turned around. And he can look- So in his case, we've, you've reversed disease. I have reversed disease. Okay. And he, he will continue on this same program and can live a very healthy, high quality life for decades. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, Dave, I wanna thank you for coming on the program and sharing your uh, private story. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, with us, we have New York Times bestselling author, Mastering the Life Plan, Dr. Jeff Life. So Dr. Life, okay, so we've, we've already met one of your patients. And, uh, and you say in your practice, you see reversals every day. Every day. Every week. Every week. People feeling better. Feeling better, telling me how much better they feel. Living uh, the life that they used to live five, ten years ago, now it's come back for them and they're just thrilled about it. And for people just tuning in, I mean, your, your last patient we had on the show, type two diabetes, that's gone. High triglycerides, gone. that gone. Depression. Risk for heart disease, depression, on, on, on sleeping pills, all reversed. All gone. Okay, and he lost like 60 pounds. And he gained muscle while he was losing body fat, you know, which is really the way to do it. But uh, in traditional dieting today, People lose weight and they lose muscle and body fat. They get off their diet, they gain back the body fat, and then they don't gain back the muscle. So every time they go on a diet, they lose more and more muscle and get, and it, it, it ends up becoming a major problem for people. Okay. Now, when I see you on the shows like the Dr. Phil show, and I see you on other national shows, the doctors recently saw you with Anderson Cooper on CNN, right? And I look at you as you're lifting weights at 74 years old, and I think, is that possible though for everyone? Is this guy just a freak of nature, it's an very, anomaly? It's very possible for everybody. I mean, completely possible. So it's not just you. I mean, there's other no. guys like you walking no, I'm around. Just a, I'm just an average guy that realized when I was in my late 50s that I was headed down the wrong path to, and I, I was gonna die of heart disease and type two diabetes. And I turned all this around because of the Bill Phillips program, EAS. I entered that contest, won it. That got me on the right path. Then I learned about Cynogenics, realized my hormone levels were too low, got those up to where they should be. And it's just been steadily getting better every year, Randy. Okay. You know, every year I look and feel better, which is an amazing thing. I mean, whoever thought that the second half of your life can be the best part of your life? Well, it, it is. You know, a lot of people know that I've interviewed you on my show and they always ask questions about, uh, uh, about you. I always say you're a nice guy, but the way you look too. I mean, this was your goal. You wanted to be like a bodybuilder, right? Well, some, I mean, no, not everybody my, wanted my, to be a bodybuilder, My goal right? really, Randy, was to get healthy again. Okay. Now, it just so happens that the healthier I get, the better I look. Okay. And the better I look, the healthier I am. So it's a win-win. And this is true of all my patients. Is that right? So, so you take off your shirt at the beach and, and, and you're, I mean, at 74, you have a, a libido. I have a... Your my, memory, you say, is fantastic. It's better. I'm in better shape today in terms of my brain 
and the rest of me and my sexual function than I was when I was in my 40s. I meet 74-year-olds, and their ambition seems to be low. Typical 74-year-old. They're winding down. I talk to you. I get off the phone. I feel like, you know what? I got to be more like Dr. Life. I mean, you're ambitious. Is this, I mean, do you feel young? I mean, inside, do you feel young? For sure. I feel, I don't feel, I have to remind myself, you know, I think about my age sometimes, and I think, my God, look at all I'm doing. Yesterday, Randy, I did a heavy leg workout with Rod Stanley and and the the two guys. Followed that with a 50-minute ride on my exercise bike. Then went to meetings, did Pilates, and then drove here, and I and I feel great. I mean, most guys want to go to the gym. Most guys want to lift weights. They don't have the energy, right? Isn't that the ch- your program gives people energy? This is, is that this, is that right? This is the problem. As men age, their testosterone level starts to decline. Okay. And this takes away their desire to go to the gym. When they do go to the gym, they don't make any progress, and they just give up. And then they typically go to their doctor, and they say, you know. I'm just not like I used to be. I'm, five years ago, I had a lot of energy, and my sexual function was good, and I was going to the gym. Now I, can't, I don't even want to go to the gym. I can't get rid of this body fat, and my sexual function is declining, and I have no energy. More often than not, the doctor will say, well, you know, Joe, you're just getting older. This is part of the aging process. Just suck it up. Okay. <laughs> and so they walk out really depressed. Then they hear about testosterone. So they go back and they say, maybe my testosterone level is too low. So they get their testosterone levels done. And they go back and they're told, well, you know, Joe, your testosterone is normal. Well, it's not. It's in the normal range, which goes from 300 to 1,200. And they're at the bottom of the range. And they they aren't told that. But I tell them that. I said, well, yeah, you're in the normal range, but you're a D minus student. You want to go through the rest of your life as a D minus student? No one wants to do that. So I make them an A student, and it changes everything. Now, this program that, that, that you're involved with, uh, I mean, like 20,000 people have been through it, right? Yes. And so your results are typical. Would you say they're typical? Absolutely. If people. Is it hard for people to believe, by the way? Like, because I see you're on the news all the time. Oh, yeah. They just find it hard to believe? People think it's Photoshop. People think it's fake. I mean, show your biceps like that. I mean, that's unbelievable. They think it's all not not real. But then when they meet me and they spend time with me, and they go to my website, they realize this is for real. And this is not just me. And you're gaining muscle at your age at 74. Yes, I have gained... And, uh, and you do DEXA scans. I mean, you're doing imaging that proves to the, to the gram. To the gram how much muscle I have. How much muscle you how have. How much fat I have. That's okay. what I do with all my patients. All your patients. And so it's not about how much you weigh. It's about how much your muscles weigh and how much body fat you have and what percent body fat you have. That, those are the important things. And it's it, not only important because it makes you look good. It's important because it ties directly into your health. And it ties directly into how fast you're going to age or how slow you're going to age. How much risk you are at, at, at getting all of the age-related diseases. The better you look, the leaner you are, the more muscle mass and strength you have, the less risk you have of dying of age-related disease. Okay, and and and, uh, and you enjoy life more. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm because a lot of people get away from their hobbies. You know, I've talked to your patients, by the way, in the green room, and they went from just their whole life fizzled out to where now they're doing what they used to do when they were young. And let's let's bring your next uh, next patient on the show, Troy. Troy, I want to uh, welcome you to the program. Now, t- t- tell us, I mean, you were, you were pretty sick. I mean, you had a heart attack right before meeting Dr. Jeff Life. Is that correct? Yes, I had a heart attack. Um, I was 42. I uh, guess you could say I was a typical couch potato. I'd go to work, come home, too tired to do anything, stop, get fast food for the family, sit on the couch, watch TV, go to sleep. That was basically, basically my life. My wife would try and get me to go to the gym. I had no energy. Well, you know, Troy is unique because most of my patients aren't quite his age, they're older. Troy really lucked out because we jumped in early on when he, he, was, he was failing under traditional medical care after his heart attack. 
he was given really poor advice about exercise and nutrition. Okay. And he was put on all these meds to help prevent further problems, but he was on a downhill course. Would he have been a second heart attack? A second heart attack would have taken him out. Okay. Were you skeptical? I mean, were you worried? I mean, this, I mean you're taking on a patient that is, uh, you know, one month out of having a heart attack? I and, you're t and you're advising him to go to lift weights and well, go to the gym? Well, I, I sent him to a cardiologist for an evaluation, my cardiologist. Okay. And he was cleared for this program, and then he jumped in. We pulled him into this program, and he jumped in with enthusiasm, and he has gone from a weak guy, weak fat guy, to a lean, strong guy that now has a, a cardiovascular endurance. I mean, he's changed. He's like a different guy. Troy, okay, you say work has changed, your home life has changed because of the program. G give me examples. Monday through Friday, I'm up at five in the morning. I'm at the gym working out with uh, Dave every morning, uh, about an hour doing uh, weight, weight training. I come home, I cook breakfast for my family, I go to work, work 10 hours after work. As I come home, I feed my family, then I go do cardio at the gym at night. You know, I am so fortunate that he came into my practice, and when he did at the age of 42, there are countless thousands of people, men, his age and older, that are in the same boat that he, he was in. And it just is so rewarding to, to see someone get into my program, become enthusiastic about the whole program, and transform himself from a really sickly guy that was headed on a, on a death course, really, okay. to a healthy guy that can live for several more decades, high quality life. Now, Troy, did you ever go back to your original cardiologists, your original doctors, and uh, show them where you are now? And, what, and if so, what did they say? I told my cardiologist uh, that I was going to do this program with Dr. Life, and uh, he just kind of looked skeptical, didn't really say anything. He thought it was dangerous? Well, right after the heart attack, when I uh, paid a visit to him, he uh, told me, you know, watch my nutrition, told me to park a little bit further away from work and walk a little further, you know, and... Uh, that's about it, take the blood thinners and all the medication he gave me. Dr. Life, I mean, is that, uh, is that common? I mean, they hear, Dr. Life's your doctor? Because I think people have you all wrong. I don't know you that well, but I've visited your, your, uh, your, your clinic at, or, or your office there in Las Vegas. I mean, you're a traditional medical doctor too, but you believe in eating right, exercise, and optimizing hormones. That's right. And, and, but, but you have great credentials. We, we haven't even mentioned your credentials. I, I guess you, not, not only a medical degree, I have a PhD and, and, uh, and a MD and a, a board certified in, in family medicine. Okay, and you've studied nutrition for how many years now? Ten years. I've been really interested in nutrition. Around the time I entered the Body for Life contest, that's when I really got interested in, in nutrition because doctors don't know anything about nutrition. Most of them know very little about nutrition and exercise and how important it is. Uh, you know, in medical school, we never got any training in it. And, I, and today, doctors don't get trained very much in exercise and nutrition. Yeah. Very important c components to a healthy living and to f preventing disease. You know, medicine today is not about preventing disease. It's about waiting till it rears its ugly head and then treating it. Like what happened with Troy and Dave. Waiting for something to Wait, happen. Waiting. Troy gets a heart attack. And then they jump in and they start treating it with meds, but not with the real things that are going to make a difference. Yeah, I mean, you treat disease with, with food, right? I, I mean, you believe like food is medicine in a way. Uh, yeah. Is that right? I don't want to put words in your no, mouth. No, that's Hippo Hippocrates said that. Okay. And do you think there's a misconception? Because when I first met you, I thought, that guy's all about hormones. It's hormones, hormones, hormones. Everyone thinks I'm all about growth hormone and testosterone. And it's that's a small so, part of your program. Uh, is that right? Growth hormone is really a small part of my program. I mean, Just, these guys are not on growth hormone no. that came in today. No. And testosterone is a big part of my program because most men, as they age, enter andropause and their testosterone levels slowly decline, which impacts every aspect of their life and their health. They're at greater risk for vascular disease, for heart attacks and strokes and cancer and diabetes and Alzheimer's disease and type 2 diabetes, the same things that Dave and Troy are having trouble with. 
type 2 diabetes and, and cholesterol abnormalities and vascular disease. Get their testosterone levels up to where they should be. It changes all that and it gives them enthusiasm to go to the gym and to eat right. Troy, tell me about your workout schedule because you went from not working out at all to now what? Monday through Friday, I'm up at five in the morning. I'm at the gym working out with uh, Dave every morning, uh, about an hour doing uh, weight, weight training. I hear this all the time. Troy did want to work out, but he just didn't have the energy. And so he maybe, I think he gave it a try now and then, but then gave up. And the reason really was because he didn't have the right guide, guidance on what kind of exercise to do and how to eat right but his testosterone level was low. And so when I corrected his testosterone deficiency and he started working out with a, the program that we gave him, he really got enthusiastic about it. And it, he, it became part of his life. And he now gets up early every morning and, and goes to the gym and has made massive changes in progress. Troy, do you think you have like a new lease on life? I mean, you're a young guy at 42 to have a heart attack, but do you feel like, uh... You got a second chance here? Yes, uh, 100%. Second chance um, to live a good, healthy life and be there for my family. Um, without Dr. Life and this, uh, this whole program, I don't even know if I'd be sitting here today. Uh, that's how bad a shape I was in. Troy, I want to thank you for coming on the program and sharing your story. Thank you very much. I, I would like to elaborate, elaborate on uh, the testosterone treatment, the hormonal treatment. Um, I have many people come up to me. Uh, I work with over 4,000 people in the casino and they're asking me, what am I doing? What am I doing? And most of the, the male guys my age, I explain to them, go get their hormonal levels checked, their testosterone. I tell them to get Dr. Light's book. He has the, the whole guide on the numbers. Um, I told him it's just almost magical. The, the energy I have, the, the, if I don't go to the gym, I feel guilty. Um, and for anybody listening, I would definitely recommend get Dr. Life's book, go to your physician, get your blood work done, get your uh, uh, levels checked, and uh, get them in balance where they should be because uh, it made a world of difference in my life. So Dr. Life, we're going to take a quick break. We come back. Uh, we're going to bring on your nutritionist and trainer that works together with your patients. You couldn't do it without them. No, nope, could not do it without them. I mean, that's a big part of your program? It is a huge component of, of my program. What if somebody says, I, I, you know, I don't want to work with your nutritionist or your trainer? Then Are I, they just not a candidate for the program? And I say, you're not, I don't want to be your doctor. I don't want you to be part of this program. This program requires a real commitment to eating right, exercising right. I take over and correct their hormones and all that. But, it, you know, the deal breaker for pe patients on my program, the few that fail, is their exercise program and their eating. Okay, so they gotta get with Rod. They gotta get with Rod. He's good, by the way. He is very good. I mean, he's a positive, positive energy guy. Okay, good. We're, gonna, we're gonna bring him out. Very knowledgeable. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez, we'll be right back. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez, Extreme Makeover Edition. With us, we have uh, probably the fittest doctor in America, Dr. Jeff Life. Dr. Life, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Now, you were named by men's fitness right. as one of the top 25 fittest guys in the world. Is that right? And you were in there with God, with actors and at, at 20 years old, 20 year old guys, right? 20, 20, 25 year old guys. I was three times the age of most of them. People always ask me, by the way, they ask the first thing, what, what, what you're like. I always say a nice guy, that you care, that you're into it. Then they say, does he really look like that? And you know what I always say? What do you think I say? I don't know. What do you I say? say even better. He looks even better. I saw you getting makeup one time without your shirt. I don't know if you were showing off or not, but uh, you know, you look that good. I mean, you, I mean, look, look at your arms. Thank you, Ray. Uh, so, but you said that a lot of patients can reach these goals. Every patient I have can reach this, this goal if they, if, if they, that's their goal. If that's their goal, they train and they eat right. Now, nutrition a big part of your practice. You wanted to make that clear today. You say it's not just about hormones. And, and, and that's why we have Rod on here. But It's really about the whole package, but the deal breaker for most of my patients that fail, and there aren't very many that fail, is nutrition. What they put in their mouth. Okay. And exercise. Those are vital components. I mean, you can have perfect hormone levels 
you can have perfect blood results. But if you don't exercise and if you don't eat right, you're not. But don't we all know that though, by the way, exercise and eat right? Uh, yes. The challenge is doing it. Everyone knows that, but people have trouble doing that. Uh, especially my, pay, my, my men that come to see me because their testosterone levels are low. They don't have the energy to, to, to go to, to the gym, out. to work out. And they are surrounded by bad food and they don't have the motivation to eat right. And I mean, they, your guys are getting up at five o'clock in the morning. I met two of your patients in studio today. And, and I asked them, I said, would you have ever got up at five o'clock in the morning before? And they said, no, no way. I said, why do you do it? They go, because I'm in the mood to do it. I'm paraphrasing slightly. But they have the energy to do they it. They have the energy. And, and so you show them how to eat, how to work uh, out. It's more than just having the energy. They start, they have the energy, so they start. And then we guide them along the right path. And they start ha seeing success right off the bat within the first couple of weeks. And then they're motivated. And then they really get committed. Okay, good. Rod, uh, welcome to the program. Hi, Randy. Thanks for having me. Now, I've met you at uh, your clinic. Uh, in Las Vegas, and uh, so so you're a key. I mean, Doctor Life speaks highly of you. Says that without you uh, monitoring the nutrition and, and and the exercise, that these people would not be getting the results. It's not just about hormones. So uh, elaborate on that. Nutrition is very important, and uh, we found that that can be the deal breaker for a lot of our patients. So we really work hard on making sure they're eating the right type of diet. On this program, Rod, how, how often do you work with the patients? When our patients come into our office, I work with them for about two hours before they meet with Dr. Life. And I find out what type of foods are gonna work for them. And then I follow up with them on a frequent basis, uh, as often as they need, once a week, uh, twice a week, whatever that patient needs uh, to stay on track. But Rod, you know, we, you know, most of these people know they need to eat better, but they can't get get themselves to do it because the cravings are out of control. So, so what do you do for cravings? You know, with cravings, we, we found that by introducing the right foods, which helps to normalize a lot of blood levels with the patient as far as uh, blood glucose. And when we do that, we can uh, mitigate some of the cravings they have. Usually if they stay on track for a week or two, then those cravings just go away. And, uh, and, and patients are more successful once we can introduce the foods that will decrease the cravings. Cravings are a huge problem for all of our patients, for me. And it's because our blood sugars go up and down the way we eat in America. So if we can smooth out the blood sugars and keep the insulin levels low, it doesn't take any time, maybe a week, 10 days, before these cravings for high carbohydrate uh, sweets and things like that to go away. Okay. Now, you, you know, one of the things I like about you, by the way, is that you're kind of a former fat guy. You were overweight not, and you were- Not kind of, Randy, I was. <laughs> We've all seen that boat I picture, I had right? metabolic syndrome, I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I had heart disease, didn't even know it. And you Big were depressed, belly. and you were depressed. And I was depressed, I couldn't even climb a flight of steps. But, but you've told me that if you don't eat, as outlined in your program, that you also will have cravings like Regular people, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, like you, you'll want pizza or M&Ms. I don't know what foods you, that you like, but you said that you'll eat junk well, food. Two of them. You don't eat perfectly. <laughs> Is that right? No, I don't. It's a constant battle. It's a constant battle for me, and it's a constant battle for almost all my patients. So we, we Rod and I, create I, things to help people stay on track. Or if you get off track, my book talks about what happens if you get off track, get, how to get right back on. I see men and women that have been off track for, for three or four years and have gained 20, 30, 40 pounds. Prior to that, they were really doing well, eating well, mm -hmm. and exercising, but they, something happens, they get off track, and they just can't get back on track. And before they know it, three years has gone by. So we are all about keeping people on track, and if they get off, helping them get right back on. Rod, the two patients that were on the show today, we've met, they both lost over 50 pounds, reverse their diabetes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, how much stronger are they now, if you could quantify it, than they you know, were when you first met them? You know, when Dave and Troy came into the office for the first time, uh, we're talking two guys who hadn't worked out since high school. So they were totally deconditioned. So what we were able to do was find out what their individual fitness level was through several uh, fitness tests. Um, when we first started working with them, they were only lifting 25 pound dumbbells in each hand now they're up over 90 pounds, so we've quadrupled their uh, muscular strength. Uh, Dave can now do 
unassisted pull-ups, which is amazing because that's one of the most difficult exercises to do. Uh, we also did cardiovascular tests. Uh, Troy had a heart attack about a month prior to a meeting with us, and it's very common for you know, those guys to be afraid to work out. So once we found out his fitness level, we were able to push him and uh, increase his VO2 max, which is how well his heart and lungs work at uh, using oxygen for energy. And we've, we've doubled that. So we've improved his health and fitness dramatically. Rob, we're out of time, but, but what do the patients say to you about Dr. Life? You know, the patients do ask me questions about Dr. Life when they first come in. And it's almost this a mystique surrounding Dr. Life. They want to know, is he real? Does he, does he really practice what he uh, preaches? Is he, does he look like he do, does in the ads? Does he work out that hard? And I tell them emphatically that, yes, he does. I mean, I'm with him there training five days a week. And uh, they're amazed when they see him in real life and kind of can see that he is actually living what he preaches in his books and uh, on his program. Right up and thank you for coming on the, uh, on, on the program. Thanks for having me, Randy. So Dr. Life, you know, final message. Okay, so you brought these, you know, we, we called it an extreme makeover addition today. You brought two patients that were very sick. They both lost over 50 pounds of body fat. Uh, what's, your, what, what, what's your main message to men out there that are feeling lousy? Because these guys had no ambition. They were depressed. They couldn't go to the gym. They thought there was no turning it around. My, main, my main message is that men in America today, in the world really, need to start focusing on their health and well-being. And they do not have to follow the same path that their dads did. They can change that. They can make the second half of their life the best part of their life. We have the know-how today to make that happen. And it's not complicated. It's not rocket science. It's simply doing the right kind of exercise, eating the right kind of foods, and correcting hormone deficiencies. That combination works wonders. And I know you're passionate about this. I mean, you've written two books on the topic, but you teach other medical doctors. I mean, th this is like the new, uh, the new medicine in a way. Yes. I mean, medical doctors actually flying from all over the world yes. to hear you lecture. More and more traditional physicians are realizing that they have to do more for their patients. They have to be proactive about pre preventing disease. They have to be proactive about improving men's and women's quality of life. Uh, more and more, they're believing that, you know, you can't just buy into old age as part of, 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 of the life cycle. Does everybody look at you, by the way? Do you get noticed wherever you go? Yeah. <laughs> do they say, are you that guy? Yes. On, uh, on TV. In the airports. And Any autographs or do, do people want their cell phone pictures next to you? Yeah, sometimes. For sure. Especially in Brazil. I mean, they're crazy in Brazil. Oh, they about, like you over there. About uh, taking pictures. I mean, I had a whole line of people, uh, doctors, that wanted their pictures. So it was like a 45 minute deal where people would just come, I'd put my arm around them and they'd get a picture. It was pretty amazing. Are you frustrated with traditional medicine? Absolutely. And we're out of time, by the way, but I mean, could you go on about this? I mean, this is really yeah, a frustration well, I, of yours? It's, it's a huge frustration, and it's only gonna get worse. You know, with 30 million new patients coming into the healthcare system. Uh, is it because the they're just throwing year, too many drugs at the situation? It's Not focusing it, enough on nutrition? What's your biggest frustration? The biggest frustration is it's all about waiting till the disease appears, and then bombarding the disease with expensive drugs and doctors are just not able to spend enough time with their patients to, to really have an impact on, on how they live, their, their lifestyle, things that will really prevent disease or reverse disease. And, and, and doctors I speak to, medical doctors, are sick and tired of this model too. And that's why they go to your that's lectures to come. learn how to do that's right, this they, type of medicine. I wanna thank you so much for coming on the show. Always a pleasure, I mean you are, and by the way I should mention, I asked you to take off, because you were wearing a, a, a jacket. I said, you might as well show it off a little bit, right? Because you actually look like this. Thank so, you. So, so good for you. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. And, and if somebody wants to get on your program, visit the website first. Visit my website, www.drlife.com. And then call my assistant, and we go from there. Now, you have other doctors, but could they request to see you? Uh, they can. Sure. I mean, so you have celebrity clientele. I mean, some of the most famous people I do. are your clients. Do they travel from other countries now? Yes. 
Is that right? So Dr. Life's my doctor. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Randy. You've been watching The Wellness Herald, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you'd like to see this interview again online, visit our website. Just put in Dr. Life and you'll find them there. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.